Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, your boy, Yuma Kong. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be bringing three big reports coming out of Manchester City. So let's jump straight into it. Right, okay, guys. So starting from yesterday, it was announced that Bernardo Silva has extended his contract. And this is better than any signing we could have hoped for. Keeping Bernardo at the club for a couple more seasons is going to be fantastic. Okay, so we are keeping him at the club. For three more years until the summer of 2026. Guys, what a signing this has been. Well, I guess a re-signing, I guess, for the contract extension. This is bigger and better than any signing we could possibly have imagined to have made. This is fantastic. Bernardo, absolutely quality player. Always shows up when we need him. And he is going to be an absolute excellent servant for us. Now, if I had to guess why he signed a contract extension... I would imagine it is because the fact that Barcelona can't afford, of course, the fee for him. So I'd imagine we've just gone, look, you either sign a contract or we will sell you to PSG or some Saudi team. And he doesn't want to go there. So that's why I think he has signed this extension. And I am happy for him. Of course, you know, he, he gets to stay at City for three more years and it's going to be fantastic. So, of course, guys, I'm going to try and just run through these as quick as possible because I don't want this video being like 25 minutes long. So, yeah, so we're just going to go through like all the cliff notes and just run through it as quick as we can. Okay, so then yesterday, of course, it was announced on Twitter that Laporte was leaving City, but it was confirmed today that he had left City and he has gone to join the Saudi Arabian team, Al Nasser, which I think that's Ronaldo's team. I could be wrong. But I think that's Ronaldo's team. But of course, I am really gutted that he's leaving. Because Laporte, for me, is one of, if not the best, ball-playing centre-halves in the entire world. He is quality. And honestly, he's going to be missed. He's been such an important player for us. And I just hope he knows that he's going to be missed by every single player at the club and all the fans. He has been an absolutely fantastic signing. And we couldn't have wished for a better centre-half to join us when we needed him. And he has always put the club above anything else. I mean, if you guys remember, I think it was a season before last. When he was literally injured, but he kept on playing because we didn't have any other centre-backs to play. He kept on playing. I mean, this man bled City colours. He bled blue. You know, like, he was a true City player. And I absolutely loved and adored him. And honestly, I wish him the best. I hope he does well in the Saudi Arabian League. I hope he does well. And I hope he's happy there. And yes, yeah, so yeah, guys, that is the end of Laporte. It's a shame, of course, because he is an absolute world-class quality centre-back. But it just didn't work out with the system we are playing now. He doesn't really fit into our system. So it sucks, but, you know, I think it's best for the club and for the player. So he can move on and still play games. As he's only, I think, 30, I think, 29, 30, something like that. So he's still in his prime, still in his peak. And he does deserve to be playing and starting at any team. So I wish him the best of luck at Al Nasser. So moving on to the final thing for today, guys. We have literally just signed Jeremy Doku. Now, guys, I will admit I have not seen a lot of Jeremy Doku. I will admit, I mean, I played with him on FIFA and he's very quick. And what I've heard in real life is that he's also a speed demon as well. And guys, I've seen some stats, and his stats are mind-blowing. Like, I think he's like either first or second for take-ons on the wing or something like that. I'm not too sure of the stat exactly. But either way, guys, this is a big signing. I mean, we've signed him from the French team. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I'm just going to butcher it. For a five-year deal, which I think five years is a very good thing. I mean, he's still young. He's only 21, so he's got many years to improve and guys he's going to be amazing on this wing because we've got Grealish on the other wing who can slow the game down and then on the right side with Jeremy he's going to just be going yo give me the ball I'm running I'm Barry Allen I'm the flash Meow. and he's gone he's down that right wing and it's going to be fantastic him with his pace getting behind the fullback and then whipping in the crosses to Haaland it's going to be a beautiful partnership and I cannot wait to see it so here Here's the entire article. Of course, I won't go through all of this, but if you guys want to read it, then you can. And I will give you all the links to this stuff in the description and comments down below. So if you guys want to read it, you can. And I'm sure it's a great article, which I will read once I've made this video. But yeah, guys. Oh, yes. And he's going to wear number 11, which I think is fantastic. Which, of course, was vacated by Zinchenko when he left to go and join Arsenal. So he is our new number 11. And he's going to be fantastic, guys. He looks a very exciting player. And I cannot wait to see him in a City shirt 
at the Etihad, ripping defenders apart. It's going to be a thing of beauty. But so here's the start that I was talking about. So here it says, so much so that his maiden season with the club, Doku went on to complete 110 dribbles, the most by any player aged 23 or under in any of Europeans' top five leagues. 110 dribbles, the most. What are we cooking? We are going to be on fire this season, guys. We're going to be cooking and it's going to be beautiful. Ain't no one going to be able to stop Chef Pep in the kitchen this year. He's, he's cooking up something very spicy, and I cannot wait to see it. So yeah, guys, I am so excited to see Jeremy Doku in a City shirt, and I just think he's going to be absolutely brilliant. So yeah, guys, how do you feel about all these changes that, of course, I mean, we've signed Bernardo, we've lost Laporte, and now we've signed Jeremy Doku. This has been a really good window for us, and I think that this is just a fantastic window and a really good start to our season, and... I just hope that we can kick on and keep playing excellent football and just win the league again. And then hopefully we can win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues as that would be absolutely insane. So yeah, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And of course, until next time, I will catch you all later. Uh, goodbye.